I wish I could continue in German, but uh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid I, I, I cannot, so I kindly ask you to allow me to switch into English. Thank you. You cannot imagine how special this day is for me, and being my first solo trip as Queen of Spain is not the only reason. The common history between Austria and Spain goes back a very long way. It is a history that was particularly intense at the time when our painter, Diego Velázquez, was amid the Austrian and Spanish courts and when the civilian genius cut an edge into his most artistic and talented side. I would like to say thank you to the President of the Red Crescent in Syria and President of the Red Cross in the Philippines. Thank you for coming. Welcome to our country, our city, our heart. Uh, you can call me Happiness. I think it's, it's a nice name. Yes, Queen Happiness. It sounds great. Yeah. Thank you. In those years of the 17th century, Velázquez played an outstanding role not only because of the value of his works in artistic and hence cultural terms. He left a magnificent heritage behind, but beyond this, our painter also provided the Austrian court with dozens of portraits, testimonies of the new family editions that in turn weaved the different matrimonial strategies that were the political trend at that time. Ladies and gentlemen, this superb exhibit on Diego Velázquez gives us an opportunity to improve even more the excellent relationship that our two countries already enjoy. Today, in this impressive art history museum of Vienna, just as it uh, did nearly a year ago in the Prado Museum of Madrid, Velázquez and his talent call upon us to work along the crucial moments of his life and painting career. I invite you to enjoy his works. Velázquez was a painter of the Baroque, but in true sense, he was a lot more. As a forerunner of the contemporaneity that was later on rendered by the great masters of painting, Velázquez brings together the excellent and flair of a man who achieved perfection. Velázquez, nothing can new can be said about the mastership of his techniques, his command of the color, the light, the perspective, or the composition. Manet named him painter of the painters. We now have the opportunity, the true privilege to witness in this great exhibition the artistic mastery that once became trapped in these canvases. The way Velázquez looked at his time and the way we do today are now bonded together. Different time and different circumstances, but surely the same emotion. Thank you all again for your warm welcome and special thanks to you, Mr. President, Fischer and Frau Margit Fischer for your hospitality. Thank you very much. Vielen Dank.